Well, welcome back to Living 808. We're checking out what's healthy and delicious with our friends at Down to Earth, and it is all about superfoods. We're here with Maddie Kamer in the Down to Earth community room, and superfoods are all the rage. Is there one that's having a major moment right now? Yes, absolutely. Um, our wellness manager here at our Honolulu store, Carmela Wolf, does a weekly segment on our Instagram called Wellness Wednesdays, and a product she recently highlighted is Moringa. She told us that it has more iron than spinach, more potential potassium than bananas, and more vitamin C than oranges. It's also incredibly easy to incorporate into your diet. We sell it in capsule form that you can take um, daily, or we also have powdered form, which you can add to simple recipes like this Moringa guacamole. Now, Moringa, I've heard about it. It's a very buzzy, on-trend food, but I had no idea it had that much good stuff going on, and pairing it with guacamole, that's great. Now, I love guacamole. I don't always pick the perfect avocado. It's oh, such a bummer yeah. when that happens. Do you have any tips you can share? Yes, absolutely. Here at Down to Earth, we are avid avocado eaters, so <laughs> we have gotten pretty good at selecting the perfect avocado. So what you want to do is, um, in the produce section, you want to give each avocado a little squeeze and feel for if it's soft. Once you find one that's soft, you can take this little bulb off the top and just check the color underneath. Mm. If it's green, it's probably good to go, but if it's brown, it might be a little bit overripe. So you might want to keep looking and select one that has a green top. So once you have your avocado selected, okay. you'll just cut it in half. And we actually like to set aside our pits and save them because adding a pit to your guacamole when you store it can help keep it fresher longer. There you keep go. Green color. Lots of good tips for it. And I see so many tools. Do you have any handy dandy ways to cut it to, to get that pit out in a clean fashion? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we do use a knife. You want to be very careful. Okay. You just give it a little light tap. A little love tap. Oh, yeah. And just kind of keep... <laughs> until it twists out. So some avocados are easier than others, yes. but um, you just want to be really careful. It doesn't take too much pressure to get that pit out of there. And that looks super healthy. We know about all the great uh, fats going on in avocados, but you're going to pair it with some other things here as well as a moringa? Yeah, absolutely. So another superfood we really love is hemp oil. Okay. Um, hemp is incredibly nutritious. It contains almost all of the essential amino acids that you need just in your daily life, which is great. So it has some protein in there, and it also has a really great flavor. So it just adds some delicious flavor to the guacamole. Now I want to ask you, I know you love getting local produce when you yeah. can. Is there a difference between the Haas avocado and the bigger local ones we see? Yes, absolutely. We actually prefer the local avocados, but unfortunately our shipment just came in today, so they weren't quite ripe enough for our guacamole. So we did go for some organic Haas avocados, mm -hmm. um, but they are about half the size of a local avocado. So we always recommend buying local. Okay. All right. So what are we going to be making here, Maddie? We are going to start by mashing up our avocado for this guacamole. So you can just use a fork okay. and just kind of press oh, and I've then never seen that technique. scoop into your bowl. And mm -hmm. you can keep pressing from there. So if you want to do this, I can right. keep cutting open the rest of our avocados. Okay. There you go. I'm going to work on mashing this healthy and delicious. I'm sorry, I'm doing a horrible job. I'm going to need a break to see if I can get it together. We want to make a superfood guacamole with Moringa and Maddie. I'll let you do the honors. We're going to unveil this and tell us what exciting things we can pair it with when we come back. Oh, man, Super avocados. Fresh. So good. And local avocados. And the Moringa, they do a lot with that. I know over our friends at MW Restaurant love doing like a tea with that as well. You can do so many things with that. And the hemp oil. Did not know that. Um, I am I have never really been a fan of avocados. What? Um, until my fiance, uh, she loves avocados. Mm -hmm. And we make guacamole more. Now, I can eat guacamole. I don't. I just don't care for scooping an avocado out and having it, like, say, on a burger or something like that. No. Um, With chips or something. And it's, like I'm that. sure they they don't either, because at Down to Earth there are no burgers except <laughs> for the ones that are plant based. But right. uh, it, yeah, so but I'm starting to because I've I've learned through these segments with Down to Earth mm -hmm. how good avocados so are for you. Right. Yeah, it has all the good healthy oils in there. So we're going we're to have that dish for you coming up and yeah. a recipe. Yeah. You'll get that online later. All right, speaking of food, 